Okay, so in this section, we have um, some right angle um, theorems. Probably the most important one that you guys need to know is hypotenuse leg. Um, the other ones you can prove triangles are congruent without needing them because you can use like side angle side or um, um, side, side, side. Uh, but you could use these like leg, leg, hypotenuse angle, leg, angle. Um, so like if I look here, um, hypotenuse is congruent. It's a right angle. One of the legs is congruent. So triangle... BCA is congruent to triangle EFD by the HL theorem. And then this one also, right angle, congruent hypotenuse, uh, congruent legs, so triangle MPL is congruent to triangle MNO by HL theorem. And then this Next one, um, we don't know that it's a right angle, so um, no, they are not congruent. Or we could say that there's not enough information. Um, this one, they are congruent. X, V, R is congruent to angle or triangle T, V by H, L. Okay. Here, uh, I got a leg and an angle. And the last one, I have two legs. Okay. And see that, that leg, leg theorem, I could have used um, side angle side because I had the included uh, right angle that was there. Um, this one would have been um, angle, side, angle. So I don't necessarily need those theorems uh, because other congruence uh, theorems would work. Okay. All right. So uh, let's look at... Okay, so this triangle is isosceles. Okay, so statements. And, like, I don't care how you guys um, write your proofs. I mean, we could, we're going to, I could do it where um, I list all of my givens first. So, like, triangle J, K, E is isosceles with base G E, right? Angle L and angle D are right angles and K is the midpoint of L D. So all now all these are given, right? Because they're all like right there. So I can do that to start off with. And then I can start to do other things. Like I could say, okay, so let's see. K, G, and K, E are congruent. Um, this is definition isosceles triangle. And then um, triangle... L, K, G, and triangle D, K, oops, D, K, E, um, are right triangles by definition of right triangle. And then for LK is congruent to DK, and that's definition of a midpoint. So let's see, I have LK. So now I have a hypotenuse leg. So triangle. LKG is congruent to triangle DKE. And this is, oh, not definition. Um, HL theorem. And then the two side lengths are congruent by CBCTC. So LG 
is congruent to DE by CPCTC. Okay? And that is it for this lesson.